a typical start of two people who are not looking for love and simply want to complete the responsibility of bearing children to continue their lineage, send each other their photographs in pursuit of a life partner, not a lover. At the Ocean Bay, Lewis waits for the woman he's chosen and spends the entire night waiting for her. A devoted, chivalrous, and wealthy man he is. When she finally arrives, he is awestruck. She was not the lady in the photograph, but prettier and wiser. Julia comes clean about wanting to avoid men who only liked her for her looks and someone who valued kindness and compassion over anything else. Much to her fortune, Lewis had also lied but about his financial standing. Afraid women would follow for his money, he lied about being a clerk and scored some points with her. They both tie the knot that evening. The following days are blissful, full of passionate love and romance. They see themselves in each other and have earned each other's trust. Lewis find a letter that was addressed to his wife by her sister and asks his wife to write back to her regardless of how their terms are with each other. One night Julia jolts awake from a nightmare and Lewis is right next to her, taking her in his embrace and calming her down, and stays right next to her as she returns to her slumber. The following morning, Mrs. Julia has decided to write back to her sister, and Mr. Lewis helps take control of his accounts, so she can spend however she likes. He expresses to his friend how he wants to give his wife everything, and take everything from her, that he wants to change her. Lewis bumps into a strange man one day, who tells us he has been sent by Emily, Julia's sister to look for her as she hadn't written back in weeks. He assures him that she's fine and confirms his marriage to her, and invites him over for dinner sometime. They're in the shower together when Lewis informs Juliet of the private investigator's dinner on Sunday, and Julia tightens her fist and suddenly gets angry, the bird chirping apparently annoying her. The bird is found dead by their housemaid later. Lewis has started to become suspicious of her behavior, and to add more fuel to it Emily arrives at his office, distressed and upset. She claims the letter she received is signed by Julia, mailed by Lewis himself but the handwriting isn't hers. The letter was sent by a stranger. Lewis rushes back home and finds her gone, her belongings no longer in her closet or room. She is gone with all his money that he gave her. The accountant at the bank gives him a devilish smile and Lewis almost fights him until he tells him had he not given her access to all his accounts, they'd at least demand his signatures first but he had already given her everything. He is in distress, the maid checks up on him and finds him disheveled, in bad shape sitting by the window, hopelessly looking into nowhere afar. She embraces him and tells him how it must have been God, who was distressed with him to have made him meet Julia. He still wants her back, after everything. He rebounds at brothels but is not relieved, sits drunk with no aim in life as now his money is all gone. He meets the private investigator, Walter, again, who empathizes with him before agreeing to find Julia for him. When asked what he wants to do with her now when the money's all gone, Lewis responds that he desires to put her to eternal sleep. They board the ship and learn from the staff on board that she had arrived with a group of American actors and had a bird cage. Walter suspects the real Julia, Emily's sister has been murdered and Julia has an accomplice, someone she is using just like she used Lewis. In search of her, they arrive at a hotel and Walter secretly steals the gun from Lewis's luggage. Lewis goes to the popular restaurant nearby and overhears familiar voice as he munches in his food, pauses and looks out to find her. Julia is with another man who is apparently her fiancé. Lewis confirms with the waiter they are staying at the same hotel as his. Upon confrontation, Julia is calm, asking him what he plans to do now that he has met her again. Lewis's gun is out and Julia makes the bold move to dare him to kill her, points it to her heart, asking him to do it. He calls her a murderer and Julia disagrees, claiming she didn't murder her. The argument gets intense until Julia comes clean about everything. Billy her lover told her the real Julia had met with an accident and she had to take her stead so she did. She wanted to stop as she started to fall in love with Lewis but when he asked her to write back to Emily, the whole plan came crashing down. She stole the money, gave it all to Billy and ran away. They reconcile. Lewis leaves everything behind and runs away with her. As it's only so long before Walter finds Julia. They are happy and jolly enjoying together when Walter crosses paths with Lewis again. Telling him he found out Julia had taken the train here. Alarmed, he asks Walter to have something together and leaves him at the table. Running back and getting his gun. Before he could run back, Walter is at his door. They get into a fight as Walter tries to find Julia in his house. And this results into Walter getting shot more than once. Julia is there and sees it all. She is calmer than Lewis and asks him to get the train tickets. Before throwing the carpet over Walter's dead body, the gun was filled with blanks, and Walter wasn't dead. He coaxing Julia into staying with him and letting Lewis go. To get his money and then live with Walter as a rich widow. His hold over Julia is too strong and she gives in. 
Louis and Julia move to the poor section of Havana and find a house to stay at. Louis plans on going back to get his money but Julia stops him, telling him to comply with her as she has a plan. It fails, and Julia realizes she can never fit into Louis's life, and neither can he live the life of a fugitive. One night, as they finish dinner, Julia tells Louis she needs to go to the pharmacy even when it's too late but she insists, and leaves. Louis decides to follow her and ends up at a brothel, and finds out that Billy, Walter is still alive and Julia, Bonnie are still working together. Billy demands she kill Louis and take all the money. But Bonnie is trying to convince him to leave him be and just take the train with her. Louis is shocked and walks back home in distress. He waits for her to come back and when she does, he tells her he's been thinking about how he cannot live without her. And that his life is nothing without her. She asks him to wash his hands and makes him coffee. At the table, he asks her how poison works. She changes the topic but Louis then tells her he is aware of her plan to kill him and knows Billy is alive. He expresses how much he has always loved Julia, but she didn't seem to believe him the first time. Well, he would prove it tonight. Asking her to finally laugh at his foolishness, he takes the cup of and drinks it whole as Julia tries to stop him. She gets her things and hurry takes the now poison Lewis out with her through the back door. Julia takes Lewis to the train station and gets on the train. She finds Walter looking for them and hides, leaving the train again as Walter gets on. But to her misfortune, Walter gets hold of her and Lewis runs behind her. In a completely bad state, Walter has his knife out and at Julia's chin. And Lewis has his gun in his hand. Being too overconfident the gun has blanks, he stands there smirking as Lewis finally fires. And Walter falls to the ground with blood dripping out his mouth. The staff arrive and Julia asks them to bring help for Lewis. When asked if the injured Walter needs one too, she takes the gun from Lewis's hand and kisses Walter a goodbye before shooting him again declaring him dead and not needing help. Louis lay in her arms, fighting for life as Julia kept telling him that she loves him, over and over again. The scene ends here and she is shown to be telling a priest about her story. Throughout the movie, she is sentenced to death, and is awaiting her death day in jail as the priest accompanies her. She asks him if she can get a redemption for all her sins and the priest tells her she can. They sit down to pray together and the next day, the priest is shown to have taken her stead on her day. She escaped with Louis, in Morocco, at a gambler's table thanking them for being invited there. Louis tells them how their tale is a very interesting one, and that he fell in love with her the minute he saw her. That love is above all. Their secret language is shown at play, with Julia helping Louis win the game and him understanding everything. Their love language.